hi guys welcome to sql server reporting services tutorial series in my last video i explained how to um, display drop down uh, into your reports you can see here in my last video i did this i fetched this data from my table from database and based on the selection of drop down i'm displaying the records okay this is what i had done in my last video in this video i am going to pass a, a parameter from here uh, that's that will be an integer okay i will pass uh, integer value from this text box okay uh, that will be the product id or something like that uh, then i will display the list of products based on that uh, product id the records will get filtered out so yeah now let's do that go to our solution explorer right click on the reports then add new item report give it a name give and let us give a name to our report as integer parameter report okay now click add let's increase the size now we are going to create a data source first right click on data source and then just right click on data source and then click on add data source change the name as share data source integer integer parameter okay here i am not go going to use embedded connection in my very first uh, in my very first tutorial i explained uh, i did uh, one report using embedded connection and after that i created a shared connection and i have explained about uh, shared uh, data source connection in my previous tutorials then select it click okay okay now let us create data sets data set as integer parameter use the embedded connection and the uh, data source we, um, we have to use this integer parameter data source which we have created just few seconds back just click this and click on query designer let's let's increase the width and now you can select the tables uh, either by right clicking this report uh, this is area this tables area and you go to add table or else you can click on this icon you will be given a list of tables from the database now just select the tables okay click add close select the appropriate fields and product name okay now click ok uh, just before that okay let's do this now let's come here come back again to query okay as you know i am passing an integer parameter so here we have some options like filter and sort order all this kind of features i have this filter is used to filter your record based on any criteria here i didn't used this product id okay because i have chosen product id because i want to filter uh, my records based on product id so here in filter you need to pass a parameter I like at product ID okay once you write the uh, once you add a parameter to your filter and enter then you you will have that parameter in your where clause okay you can see this qu one query has generated and uh, in that query with the help of where that's the criteria in the where criteria I am using the product ID as the criteria to fetch the record okay if you want to check the result just click on this icon 
and here it will it will ask you to enter the integer value that's the product id i will enter product id 3 click ok now you can see i got 12 records you can see here i got 3 uh, sorry 12 records ok so my uh, my query is working perfect now click ok and come here to your report section and right click and insert a table so now let's uh, add these fields to our table product name company name and then quantity unit price and let's use product id also to make sure uh, we are getting the correct re results okay now uh, let's give it a background color to go let's go to properties and click on background color let's give this this light blue color and let's give some formatting let's make it as bold and make it as white now let us increase the width and let's go and see the results okay here you can see sql server has created a parameter this is the same parameter which we have created here you can see here here we had created one parameter that i am using as a filter to filter out the record this same parameter once you add a filter to your query sql server will create a parameter here so you can see your product ID has been created let's do some uh, changes here please enter the product id okay and the data type will be integer because i'm passing integer value okay now click ok let's come here and enter 3 now you will see 12 records i got 12 records now and to make sure i'm getting the correct product id you will see uh, you can see here all these products are from the uh, same product id okay so this is how you can uh, pass an integer value as a parameter and based on that parameter we can filter out the results from our database okay i hope you like this video in my next video i will create an string parameter and i will show you how to uh, fetch the results from your database with the help of string parameter okay I'll see you in my next video if you like this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching